Uh, does the freedom to protest now come at a price? Free yeah, the freedom to protest. So now this will be related to the uh, this a case in Ohio. This is very interesting to me. So it was an appeals court in Ohio upheld their order for Oberlin College to pay a local bakery a massive twenty five million dollars. Uh, after they labelled the family-owned business racist. So th let me explain what happened. This was a very interesting one. This was just in the aftermath of the, uh, the Black Lives Matter protests in, 20, in summer of 2020. And uh, a, a young student had stolen, had shoplifted some wine uh, from Gibson's Bakery and was apprehended. The student in this case was black. And as a result, lots of protesters gathered around and said that the shop was had a history of racially profiling people and that they were the staff were racist. There was no evidence for this whatsoever. And lots of witnesses turned up and said, hang on a minute, this has never happened. You know, these, this, this baker has employed black people in the past. There's been no suggestion of any racism whatsoever. But in that febrile climate, that was what happened. Now, the college got involved, started helping to distribute leaflets, saying that uh, this bakery is racist, the staff that work there are racist. Uh, they they uh, actually excused students off lessons so they could go to the protest. They effectively helped with the smear campaign. And now the bakery has sued them. So, Leo, I'm quite interested in this because <coughs> for, we're so used to Twitter and the online world where you, everyone just calls everyone racist, even when it's not True. Yeah. They call people fascist, neo-Nazi, yeah. transphobe, everything. Um, and whenever I see those words now, I just assume it's not true because it never yeah. is, right? And, and now, though, someone's actually stood up to them and got money. Is it? Does this? Is this going to change things? Yeah, a lot of money as well. As well as the twenty-five million, there's another six and a half million. So it's yeah. thirty-one and a half million, including their, their legal fees. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully this is going to draw a line in the croissants and, uh, <laughs> and stop, hey. stop this sort of thing happening. <laughs> but I mean, in defence of, uh, of the student, um, I mean, it was, a, it was a mostly peaceful shoplifting. It and, was. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you look at all the stuff that he didn't steal, uh, in fact, on the balance, the percentage of the stock in the shop that was left, yes. he actually. Uh, didn't, you know, he, he stole far less than 50%. Yeah, no, that's so pretty good. really, yeah. he left things in the shop. He should be defined, defined by what he <laughs> left. Um, and yeah, I, I just can't believe that, you know, defamation cases like this usually hinge on the, the actual material damage and the loss. So how many... How many bread rolls was this place selling if they can be sued for like $25 well, million? Dollar? But, it's, but it's interesting, isn't it? Because like, there, were, there were massive protests, students outside screaming, these people are racist, placards and everything, and they just weren't racist. Worse still, the student admitted yeah. to the shoplifting. Like, this wasn't a case that... And they, they were found they, guilty, right? They were, well, he admitted it. Yeah. Like, so, so what's the... Well, you'd think that that would be the end of yeah. it, right? But no, then there were protests and all sorts yeah. of things. And it's, it's very weird. I mean... It's a weird world, yeah. What were they suggesting? What, what? It's a weird thing, because everyone says, uh, what's a woman? I don't know. What's, uh, what's a racist? This, this guy. Yeah, they, everyone yeah. suddenly knows, right? It's very bizarre. Yeah. You know? I mean, uh, we all get called all but sorts it's of all, stuff online. But it's not legal but... to shoplift, right? You can't just take a bottle of alcohol and say... Uh, no, it's in, mine because in Sweden, I'm, that's okay. Is that that's, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah you, you have to, pay, yeah. yeah. You don't have money, you don't have currency. <laughs> no, we, yeah, we pay taxes and then we die. Okay. We have to get drunk in order to... Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah but right. it's weird. Yeah. It's, it's a very strange one. But I am very, you know, I, I'm quite hopeful because I sort of think, you know, if it comes to the point where... Because people are so free and easy about these accusations online and I get so used to it now. I'm so, I've been called a Nazi so often. I just mm. think, yeah, okay, why not? That's fine. You might as well join. I might as well embrace oh, yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, embrace it's, it. It's, yeah. So, yeah. it's so I weird. I can't help but feel that the, the barrier for being considered a Nazi has come down somewhat since 1935. <laughs> yeah, it has. You know, I think if Hitler came back tomorrow and saw the state of modern Nazis, he'd be like, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, what went wrong? I know. <laughs> They're all eating hummus. <laughs> <laughs> so given that, you know, I mean, if I could get like a million, even just a million Every time I was called a Nazi, that would be pretty good. Yeah, I'd be absolutely loaded. This is fantastic. Well, no, Nazi gold. What's wrong with that? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I should look into it. But this, I think, this could signal a change. You get accused of a few things, but it's true in your case, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, it ends up in my posters. Yeah, usually, exactly. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, this guy was actually shoplifting, right? He was stealing alcohol. So this, this is not a black issue. It, it's a red or white issue because it's wine, right? <laughs> exactly. <Hey. laughs> Thank you, Tobias. Thank you. <laughs> Came all, all the way for, for all this the way from Sweden. Yeah. Just that's the kind of thing. That's the reason yeah. we invited him over. Didn't pay for the flight, but you know, you're here now. <laughs>